Islamic State has no borders. It's an ideology of hate that's spreading across the world from its headquarters in the city of Raqqa in Syria. It's here they plan their campaigns against all societies. But Sky News has discovered a research and development wing more sophisticated than was ever imagined. This is the former equestrian centre in Raqqa. And here they're developing a remote controlled car. It's a prototype scavenged and put together in their workshop. The idea is that this can be replicated by sleeper cells abroad. This is a bomb, and they're filming how it is made. Some of the trainers and designers make no effort to disguise themselves. This man, one of the most hands-on, is Turkish. But Sky News has identified men from Syria, Tunisia, Egypt, Pakistan, Sudan and Somalia undergoing training to take abroad. In countries where suicide bombers are scarce, remote controlled bombs are an ideal weapon. To avoid detection, they need a driver. The mannequin is coated in wire and wrapped with foil to distribute heat. A self-adjusting thermostat will bring the mannequin to the same temperature as a human body. Lasers are attached to the head to create eyes. If the vehicle is scanned with any type of heat detector, it will emit the signature of a human being. If you had a, a vehicle driving towards you and there was nobody in it, um, that would probably result in a course of action, i.e. a long-range standoff attack. But if the sensor identified what it believed to be a human being in that vehicle, then potentially that vehicle could get significantly closer before any you know, counteraction would take place. In this section of the video, a man explains in Russian that all types of explosive materials can be used if they have the right fuses. And they have an array of materials available to make bombs, TNT, improvised missiles, and stockpiles of plastic explosives. Remember, this video is for the terror group itself. It's not the usual Islamic State propaganda. In Turkey, an Islamic State defector confirmed that a top-secret trading program was known about in Raqqa, his hometown. The program, he says, was about attacking countries in Europe and further afield. Crossing the Turkish border, skirting its military presence, Islamic State has been sending terror trainers north towards Europe for months. Passing through predominantly ethnic Arab towns, they can virtually disappear. All that's stopping them are the remnants of the Free Syrian Army. It's in these streets that an IS member was captured. With him, a hard drive containing hours of training videos. It was passed to Sky News. It illustrates some of their plans and unveils their technical abilities. What's clear is that Islamic State is working on weapon systems and weapons that will help them to continue their war in Syria and Iraq. But more importantly, they're also developing skill sets and weapons that can carry out more spectacular attacks in other countries. In North Africa, in Tunisia, for example, in Russia and also in Northern Europe. This is effectively a jihadi technical college and they're employing some of the finest technical minds they can get to achieve their goals. The research teams may be well qualified, but they pay scant regard to their own safety. The work, though, in this room reveals one of the most shocking developments ever known about Islamic State. They're converting a missile from a jet fighter 
and making it into a surface-to-air missile. It is a heat-seeking warhead. It can take out a passenger jet. 99% of the time, these missiles hit their targets. For decades, terror groups have had weapons like this. Most of the parts are good for 20 years or so. What doesn't last, though, is the thermal battery, which is the core of the weapons operating system. They can't be repaired, and without it, the missile doesn't work. It's thwarted these groups for years. What this film reveals is that Islamic State's researchers have made an alternative thermal battery. It's a huge breakthrough for them. Western weapons experts are reeling. I think this is one of the most uh, significant intelligence finds um, in terms of Daesh. Um, what we've seen is with their typical propaganda videos, they're very, very high quality. Um, they're you know, designed, they're produced to, uh, to uh, you know, inspire people and to um, effectively touch the nerves of anybody who's viewing them. You know, they're, they're done in a very specific way. With this training footage, it's very clearly, purely designed to pass on information, pass on the um, progress in the research and development areas. And it gives us a very, very good insight into where they are now, what they're aspiring to do, and crucially, the diversity of the types of threats that we may face. So I would say it's a, uh, an intelligence gold mine, really. This is altogether more serious than anything we've seen from Islamic State so far. A jihadi college training foreign fighters to fight in other countries, while also developing missiles for the war in Iraq and Syria and elsewhere. It was suspected, but never seen. Although this film and its horde of intelligence has been intercepted, it is just one. There will be copies and there are hundreds, if not thousands, of jihadists eager to learn. This is a message to David Cameron. Just like your predecessors, Blair and Brown, are just as arrogant and foolish. If you'd like to subscribe, please click on the link.